Right, I'm just gluing that top section together first and then I'll put the sides on in a separate this glue's going off really fast it's this stuff, PU glue it's waterproof in the end of the tenons I'm going to put some wedges I can't remember what they're called but hidden wedges cut a couple of slots in there and put some wedges in I've had a look around, can't find a piece of tulip that's about the same size so just plain a piece of beach towel I'm going to make another little sled for making wedges uh, wedges are only going to be that long I don't want them too steep I'm just going to have them about that I'll cut that off screw a little block on it help me push it right, I'm going to put this blade in it's only a little blade but I know it's sharp it's nearly new and it's a very thin cut I've been quite generous with my cut because my wedges are a bit thicker than I want. Might even cut them down a bit. You don't want the cut to go all the way because it might end up splitting your wood. And you don't want this cut to be too far in because you've got to be able to, you know, stretch that out. I'll put a domino in there for the base. One in each end of these. And I've cut down these wedges. Right, it got glued up. Came together okay. Struggled a little bit to get these absolutely tight. I don't know why. Normally I'd put a biscuit in there, which allows for a bit of movement. One of the dominoes I did cut with the with the wider cut but it's only a millimetre too off but it was perfect when I set it up dry so don't know and these bits I'll just run the flush trim out around that should clean them up okay right just got to put the match boards on these boards were only just wide enough for me to get two of these legs out of a board and those just wide enough to make the top there so I can't put a, a rabbit down there or around the top so I'm just gonna screw a timber on here this is a nice big coach screw in there that goes through to about there somewhere all right Got to cut them battens. This is the same for any small dimension timber, two by one inch stuff, anything like that. What I'm going to do is cut this down to allow for three pieces. I need three at about 30 mil square. So I'll cut this about 140 mil, something like that. That'll give me enough for maybe 150 mil. That'll give me enough for three pieces. I'll plane it both sides, plane both sides so it's the same thickness. 
then I'll put a straight edge on one edge, planed one edge, rip a piece off, plane it, rip another piece off, plane it, and then what I'll have is three pieces with three sides that are square, and all I've got to do is put it through the thicknesser to finish off that sort of edge.
So what I have now is three pieces. The cut, just a millimetre or two, slightly thicker than the thickness that I want. One sawn edge, plain square all the way around. So I just put these through the thicknesser and they'll count. The thickness is still set so it'll come out square. Exactly the same size. Like a dot. I'll put two more down here. Put this one in first so this one goes underneath it. In a way it's holding it up. Right, I'm gonna screw these on with two inch screws. Just a little bit of glue down the middle. It's PU stuff again. I don't want any squeeze out so I'm not gonna go mad with it. could use pins but pins this long you just don't know where they're going to come out plus this is a gate it's going to get some abuse Alright, they're all screwed on, time for some boards, right, I've just sat them in there, some of these boards are quite badly warped, I went to three shops to get the best, but they're slightly cupped like that, I've got a little gap down here, so what I'll do is cut this one down, so that that is the same as that. I'll work that out. My, this one feels like it's the worst, so I'll probably cut this one down. I'll lose some of that cup in them. Some of the others are really nice. So to work that out, these boards are 112 mil wide. I've got a gap there of 20 mil, so 112. 20 mil it gives me 132 so half of that is 65 66 is it yeah 66 so i'll rip this start at 66 
Right, so I'll rip that down to go in there. Got a little chamfer cutter in the router. I'm going to run shampoo cutter along the top edge as well. I'm going to glue these on all the way around. Some say you should let these boards move, but I'm just going to glue them straight across. I don't want these to move at all. I don't care if they split, I prefer them to be stuck solid. And nail them on with these little ring nails. These are 38mm, I think. There's enough in there. I'm not going to stick them to the brace though. I've had gates in the past that have twisted. And I think these boards, they'll shrink and expand that way. They won't in the length, but they will that way. And all these other timbers will, will be square. But as soon as you stick to something like that, you start creating a diagonal element to it, which can twist the gates. So I'm not sticking them down there. You never know. I'll leave that for the glue to dry. If ever you put two nails in, you want to slightly offset them. You don't want to split the wood. It might not split now, but it might split later. I was going to put two nails in. Maybe I should do them. That's more than enough, especially with glue. Oh, got a nail to go in there. 